Hey guys, Edward here with Power Mechanical with a quick tip for your boiler rooms. So recently we were talking about spare parts for your boilers and today I want to dive in a little bit further and talk specifically about a spare oil pump. This here is an oil pump that we use on a lot of our boilers and um, if you refer to the owner's manual for this particular pump, it talks about long-term storage and the necessity to put a light oil bath in it. And so we're just going to go ahead and do that today and show you how to put an oil bath in this pump to where if you're going to have it on the shelf for six months that you can keep those internals lubricated. All right, so this pump right here, now these come with a uh, these little plastic caps on there and uh, these things, they can crack. The, the, they, they don't hold a really good seal. So when I do this pr procedure, I usually just go ahead and get rid of these uh, plastic caps and I replace them with the, the black iron cast plugs. and. Um, and all you want to do is like uh, this particular pump, it calls for just a light oil. If there's any residual oil from your system, you'll want to drain that out. But uh, this one just calls for like a light oil, uh, non-detergent 30 weight. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It doesn't take a whole lot, just a real light little bath in there. Enough to where you can get everything or keep it all lubricated and as I mentioned I'm replacing that plastic plug or both plastic plugs have been now been replaced with this black iron these cast plugs just snug it up you don't really even need any thread sealing on that it's not going to be under pressure clean up my mess here now and one other note that I want to mention too is if you read on in the manual it tells you on this particular pump to every 30 days to make sure and rotate this shaft just you don't need to hammer down on that shaft or anything but just kind of give it one full rotation every 30 days and basically what you're doing is you're you're getting a you're getting that oil cycling through all the internals that way you don't have to worry about any corrosion because when it's time to use this pump, you don't want any problems with it. You don't want it to be seized up. And so that's what you do. And before we lay this back up on the shelf, I'm going to take, just check my, my plugs again, make sure they're nice and snug. That way I don't get oil all over the place. And that's it. So that's how you want to lay up your pump for anything over six months. And uh, just remember anything over about 30 days, you're going to want to make sure and cycle that shaft. So if you like these kind of tips, be sure and subscribe to our channel so you can see more of them every week. And also, if you want more information, we're going to be hosting our STEAM school here on March 3rd and 4th. So be sure and get in touch with me. And we can reserve you a seat in our class. And other than that, be sure and check out the rest of our videos for more boiler room tips. And we'll see you next week.